We are choosing a mate for our handsome bachelor, Finn. We would appreciate it if one of you would come forward and announce yourselves as the suitor. <laughs> Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. This is Mandy. And today we're doing something really fun and exciting. This right here is Finchy. Finchy is going to find a girlfriend. But we don't want Finchy to mate because obviously I don't want to be a Finch breeder. So we're going to go talk to Felipe about it and see um, what Felipe suggests. But also we thought maybe Finchy should, I don't want to say meet the mate because Finchie is in a quarantine, but just kind of take Finchie to the store and see if there's an, a draw. You know what I mean? So Finchie will still be in quarantine, new mate will be in quarantine, or friend. So that's what's gonna happen. Let's go. I don't think the cats need to be in quarantine. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Put from each other. <laughs> not, not, it's not a COVID quarantine. It's a, it's a, it's like a health thing for them. Who's the cutest little Finchy? Yeah. Yeah. Me. He me. said me. Uh, yeah. Who is me. you? He is you. Me. Ready, Finchy? Me. Yeah. All right. Time for our masks, guys. We got our masks, we got our gloves, we want to practice safe quarantine and health, but we needed to get out and do this for Finchie. And I also needed a few other things, so we're going into the bird store. Just a heads up, before we uh, came, we called ahead to Felipe to ask him if it's okay if we bring the bird. The bird will stay in the carry-on. Just checking in. This is Monkey. Monkey is Hi. Jenna's favorite bird ever. Hi, Monkey. Monkey is a Jardine's parrot. Your sniff is amazing. Mm -hmm. Look how cute you are. Look at that handsome guy. Did you guys miss him? <laughs> oh yeah, your magic hands. Are you are you uh, sanitizing your hands? Come show us your magic sanitization. Uh, how are you? Long time to see. Good. Felipe is finding a nice friend for Finchy that will not have babies. Look at the cockatiel with like the half and half hair. So cute. Mandy, what kind of bird is Abby? Uh, a cockatoo? Good. What kind of cockatoo? Oh, I'm not going to know that. Abby is a major Mitchell cockatoo. Oh my gosh. Hi, Abby. Abby's beautiful. Abby's interested in Finchy. I don't think she's the right name for you guys. <laughs> I don't think there's a little bit of a size difference. Yeah. And species difference. We'll keep looking. Did I show you the toucan's tongue? There's a toucan? Yeah. I've never even seen a toucan. In real life? In real life? No, I've only seen them like as a kid in books. Hi. Oh. Oh my god. He actually sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. Look at the babies behind you. Oh my god. <laughs> they are. They're babies. They're little babies. That's where Brando was. No. Brando was over there in a baby for a long time. Oh my god. Are they all babies in there? Yeah. Oh my god. You see? So they're like, they don't Why know. are they so cute? I know. They're so cute. And so they like don't know, they don't oh. know even who's feeding, like they don't know anything. They don't know they're alive. They're oh just like Oh my gosh, do you hungry. see their little heads like? Yeah. And they have these like kind of awkwardly big heads on their body or something. Yeah. It just looks so different. Some, they just getting their feathers. Yeah. I don't want Finchy to breed because obviously I'm not a Finch breeder. So we're trying to come up with the perfect friends for Finchy, where they won't have babies, but Finchy will not feel alone and have some excitement. So we're enlisting Felipe's expertise for that. Let's see if he came up with anything. One hour later. Did you come up with anything? What did you come up with? You have the perfect friend? So right here, you see the zebra finches? This is a society finches. But you see that dark one over there? Yeah. That's a female spice finch. Okay. Which is similar 
A bitch can't have babies. Why can't they have babies? It's not compatible. Okay. So, so they could be friends, but they won't have babies. Okay. And what's the little white thing? Those are society pinches. They could have babies. Though. Okay. Those are hard to tell the sex with them. Yeah. That you cannot tell boys and girls. But they do sometimes. If you put them with fibras, they do have babies. And who's over there in the next cave? These are black sheep, fibra finches. Oh, so these would definitely yeah. have. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, and right here we have also, this, these are orange sheep finches. Yeah. These ones, again, you cannot tell. The sex is hard to tell. Oh. If it's a boy or a girl, you know? Well, let's see what he likes. What do you like, Finchie? Look, he's, he's high class. He's shopping for a girlfriend. Let's head back over to the original. He doesn't look at these ones. Oh, he's not into this. He's not into these ones. How about these ones, he said. Orange weavers. You see the ones with the yellow stripe on their yeah. eyebrow right here? Yeah. Those are females. They're called orange weavers. And they're also not compatible. They can't have babies. But will he like that? He might. Try it. What a mission. He thinks he's gonna Look, he's right up at the glass. He's looking. Oh, there we go. That's the reaction you want. Okay, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, that's it, yeah? We found him a, a friend. Yeah, now we got a huge one. This is who we want. Yeah, you can get him. He he likes these. Guy. We know he likes them. Yeah, yeah. That's a good choice. Look at him. He's so excited. He wants to be up there right yeah. now. Did he pick one already? We don't know how to pick one. We yeah, let's pick one and I'll get him. He yeah. likes the curvier one. Yeah, see if one comes to the pinky. You want a fluffy one? Somebody different than the rest. Uh, Are they all girls? No. They're all mixed in there, and they're so hard to tell, you cannot tell boys from there. Oh, that one on the back wall. It's Which over one? there now. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Mandy will choose. She's intelligent. You see this one on the back page? Yeah. She's been real still. I think she's, she's been she's new. She can commit, you know? <laughs> That's her. That's her? Do you have your eye on her? No, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> this one's eyeing us now. No, she's not. Not like that one. No, we're gonna find her. Guys, guys, we are choosing a mate and friend for our handsome bachelor Finn. We would appreciate it if one of you would come forward and announce yourselves as the suitor. <laughs> we take this very seriously and we'd appreciate if you all took it as seriously as we do. So, whoever is expressing interest in this handsome widow. Oh, she's back. I think it's her on the right. Oh my god, that cute one that just jumped off. No cute one. Oh. Okay, we found her five times and lost you her. You found one you like already? Uh, yeah, Mandy knows which one it so is. So, which one? Okay, Mandy. <laughs> You know, Mandy, if we would have chosen one of these first, it would have been such a bad move. Much easier. I know, but we don't choose the easy route. Is this the one? Oh! How's the fluff? No. As fluffy and cute as she is, it's not her. Hello, this one. No. That's the same one. No. Oh no. Mm -mm. Better. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're cute. That is her. Can we see your tail a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yes, girl. Thank you. What do you think, Vinci? Vinci. So we'll name her Princess Nagaya. Oh, you have to be her an African name. Okay, what's an African name? I mean, my best friend is from Uganda, but her name is Justine. Ask her name. Ask her, like, nice African name. Okay. Nala. 
Nala. Nala. Like Simba's girlfriend. Stephen can she like her? I think he's gonna like her. They gotta know each other, okay, you know? They just met. They like each other right away. Yeah, they just met. That's so true. What is the suggested quarantine here? 30 days? Yeah, like 30 days. And can I put their cages next to each other or no? You can put them next to each other. Yeah. So they can see each other and get to know each other. Okay. We did a signature for somebody on the bird. Yeah, yeah and she's gonna be so happy because she asked me. To make sure you sign one of these. Aww. So, thank you. Yeah. Yay, I love it. Hi, I'm here. And Mandy's here too. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 He'll let go and then go swinging again. It's gonna be adorable. You mean he launches himself off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gonna go? <gasps> Yay! Good birdie! Yay! I love how we act like we don't have this kind of entertainment at home. I know. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it just reminds me of like growing up with all the finches I had in my apiary. It's nice, okay? Let me have feelings. Yeah, I am letting you. On it's school. gorgeous. Right? Well, Mandy had him bring out five different ones and said no to each one <laughs> until this one. You're gonna be Finchie's friend. A lot of energy. Oh, she's so cute. George doesn't know. <laughs> one hour later. What's going on? Why am I being filmed? <laughs> we have another bird? <laughs> Why do we have another bird? What is this? It's Finchie's new girlfriend. And Finchie came everywhere with us today and loved his outing. Really? Finchie chose the girlfriend himself. How did he choose her? He fell in love today. He it, did? It was really beautiful. How did he <laughs> fall in love? <laughs> well, did you see little tiny hearts? No, it was better than that. No, it was. Every time he saw one he liked, his heart would do a little flutter and he'd go up to meet her. And that's how we found her. We were like, we're not sure how she feels about him yet, but we know he's attracted to her. Really? And yeah. then he came home and gave himself a shower. <laughs> Okay guys, so Finchie had a really exciting day and has chosen his girlfriend who we just got set up but we got a lot more to do and we're gonna rearrange and then you'll stay tuned to see what else happens. They're both in quarantine right now. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing to my channel means so much to me. It means that we are that many people strong that believe in engaging with our birds and not just making it okay for them to just be ignored in cages. Yeah, make them part of your family, guys. I love you. Enjoy this Pick Me Marlene submission. <laughs> this is a game to you? Oh.